You are listening to Radio Podcast. Radio Radio Podcast. Radio Radio Podcast. 21st century entrepreneurship. Hello. My name is Martin Piskoric and I'm asking thought leaders, entrepreneurs and executive coaches around the world simple questions about the leadership gap we are facing in the 21st century. Maybe some of my respective guests' answers can help you in finding new ways of thinking, problem solving, work-life balance and having higher resolution of mind. In this episode, I'm speaking with one of probably youngest entrepreneurs that I ever will, in human, not artificial intelligent definition of age. He is Mark Guberti, still in school, but already has a serious number of social mass media followers and starting making serious money. As in every episode, I did some garage band music just for my special guest. It is one of my ways to express how do I experience that particular person through the music vibe. Let's listen what Mark thinks about our reality and future and what is his model of success. But first, few more seconds of music. Mark, this is specially for you, dear listeners. Hope you will like it as well. Yes, today is Mark Guberti. Did I did you pronounce your your last name good? Yes. Is it an it- Italian one? Yes, it definitely is. So you know you you know where Croatia is? We have we have the same sea. We have Adriatic Sea. It's between it- Italy and Croatia. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, I mean maybe you you heard about Dubrovnik or Split or Pula. If you, if you go to if you go to the if you go to the map you will see that we are actually we are actually neighbors uh oh, that's pretty you know cool. in Europe so mark how are you today I'm doing pretty good martin yeah that you are you're actually where 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 are you from new york or yes i am a proud new yorker Oh that's that's good that's wonderful. So basically you 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 started blogging in New York if I understood you well. Yeah, I started as an 11-year-old who blogged about the Boston Red Sox and mm-hmm. anyone who knows baseball knows that New York and Boston are a really bad mix. So mm-hmm. I used this blog to connect with other Red Sox fans because I wasn't going to find that many in New York. They were like an endangered species in New York. So I used the blog to connect with people and i realized that this is what i want to do mm-hmm. and i ended up writing blog posts on a different blog eventually teaching people how to write great blog posts how to get traffic mm-hmm. use social media and all that kind of stuff and my desire to just learn more and more every single day mm-hmm. evolved into me writing books creating training courses and doing all the things that i'm currently doing right now isn't that wonderful? I mean, I completely understand you. My, uh, my first radio uh, broadcast, actually, uh, was when I was 16 years old. I, I was a programmer at the, at the time, and uh, I wanted to, to do some, uh, some radio uh, broadcasts about ICT. And it's, it's amazing. You can just feel it in your guts, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I that mean, that desire, that passion, yeah, that motivation—it it keeps fueling me every single day. Like, there's um, obviously there's ups and downs, but that desire always keeps me wanting to go more. It's like how in sports, like ups and downs, where even if you suffer a really big defeat, you still get out there for the next game, put on your uniform, and play the game. Suffer a really big defeat. You still get out there for 
the next game, put on your uniform and play the game. Yeah, man. I mean, you, you like like you are doing it on on some kind of autopilot. You are. Uh, waking up every morning and just go and 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 fight your fight and can you tell us more about about that excitement about about that desire how your day looks like you you go straight from from the school home and doing your stuff or yeah that's basically it like i like to have a social life as well so when i wake up i wake up early because i have an early track cross country practice depending on what season it is Mm -hmm. And most of the time I'm at school, I'm interacting with friends there and doing that stuff. But when I come home, it is strictly business. Like I really only watch four hours of TV a week max. Mm -hmm. So I'm just throwing all that time into my business because I know at the end of the day, I mean, I could watch YouTube videos and like procrastinate and do all those things like everyone else. But it's going to be so much more worthwhile for me to pursue my business versus all those other things. And at the end of the day, when I look back, I'll be happier with myself when I know that I worked on my priorities. Yeah, mate. I, I, I understand you. Absolutely. So let's, let's go to one of our standard topic and that's state of the world. Um, from your perspective, um, if, if you can, if you can tell us more about, Anything you feel, think uh, in, is of global importance regarding entrepreneurship, business, social media, etc. Well, I feel like the world is currently um, opening up the curtain to more teenagers becoming successful entrepreneurs. And actually teenagers, like not just teenagers, but also people who aren't teenagers because the ability that the web has provided has torn the age limit away. I mean, in the past where like, I mean, that's the past that I hear about in like old textbooks and like, obviously when parents talk about it, um, they talk about how the only way you could really do anything was you had to wait until 18, get a job or like get a job if you were 16, like a summer job. And then you had to like go up the ranks. Then you possibly start your business. Then you get like that really good position. But the basic idea is that there's a certain age limit to when you can start, but mm -hmm. the web has really torn that away. And I feel like more people are going to utilize that as I see more stories of people who are becoming successful at young ages and creating a positive impact in the world, especially with what's been going on. See more stories of people who are becoming successful at young ages and creating a positive impact in the world, especially with what's been going on. 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 There's, there's so many great opportunities with technology because, I mean, you can, anyone with like just a few tweets and a lot of time committed could suddenly reach hundreds of thousands of people. Anyone. Mm -hmm. And you don't need so much technology. Um, I feel like sometimes like we like to overuse, like we use too much technology. Like technology is great. But I feel like there's a point where people overextend. So like when they're like looking at their stats, like every other hour, every other, I mean, in some cases, every other like 30 minutes. So I feel like that's when we get a bit excessive. But overall, I'm very happy with like all the great things that have been happening. Okay, so can you describe describe us your your approach? Uh, I mean, are you people person or... What kind, um, what, kind of, what kind of person are you regarding your business? I consider myself a type of people person where you have questions, I'll answer them, and I want to make myself available to my audience and provide them with as much value as possible. So with every 
like person I decide to interview for a podcast or every blog post I write or every video, I always think what kind of value could I be providing for my audience? I want everyone who watches my content or reads it to be one level higher than they were before they watched or read my content. Mm -hmm. So you are in interaction, in communication with all of them. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. What do you think the future of humanity will look like in the near future? Well, I think the future of humanity is that people have been getting more comfortable with creating movements and expressing their opinions. And I feel like teens are going to, and like when I say teens, like I also refer to people younger, they're going to realize that they have the ability to create a voice for themselves and they are going to start creating a positive impact because I feel like regardless of people's opinions or where they come from, we all want positive change. We all want like humanity to progress. We all want like more happiness, peace, all those types of things. So I just feel like with more people knowing about the opportunities they have, and the amplification power of social media and the online web, there's going to be more progress towards that area in the next 10 to 20 years. I want everyone who watches my content or reads it to be one level higher than they were before they watched or read my content. We all want like, want like more happy, more happy, peace, peace. peace, peace. Can you, can you tell us more about your vision regarding our civilization in 10, 20 years, not only in, in technology, but uh, in other aspects of living? I mean, um, what do you feel? What do, you, what do, do you have any, any thoughts regarding that one? Um, it's a little harder to think about like what it's going to be like in 10 to 20 years. I just see a natural progression because I feel like every generation is a progression of the next Mm -hmm. and like obviously like to some people it may not look that way but i feel like overall we find a way to like i feel like it's like a positive sloping line in which it's always gonna get better as it goes there are going to be some ups maybe even some serious downs but overall it gets much better Mm, that's wonderful that's that's good to hear and do you think we we, will we be like cyborgs or still human beings (laughs) oh are you like i mean i know like amazon's trying to do like grocery stores where it's just like like not even people like basically drones like i know like drones and robots are having a big play but i feel like human interaction will always be necessary Mm. because i mean i like when you go into a store you actually meet and talk to a person that's what in part makes a brand a brand so my take on it is it's not just about skill anymore because i feel like there are machines and drones that could do like basically the same stuff as us it's more about relationships that you have not just between you and the boss but between you and the customer so it's a matter of how much do people like you and how much do they look up to you as a role model because a drone cannot produce or a robot cannot produce that same effect. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, communication is transformation after all. Yeah. Uh, your area of expertise, my friend, how can you describe it? Well, my area of expertise revolves around digital marketing and mastering your life with high productivity. So a lot of people know me for the digital marketing side, productivity side as well. 
But basically, the digital marketing side is how can I use all the social networks to build my audience and how can I lead people to my blog, grow my email list, and have a successful brand? The productivity part is how do I get all of these goals accomplished faster and how do I set bigger goals and get them done in the same period of time? Mm. And what are users' users' problems usually, challenges you are aware of based on your experiences? Well, the challenges a lot of people face regarding digital marketing is that they have this idea, but they don't know how to get the message out to a large audience. So I ask, I tell people how they can create that large audience and how they can turn this brand into a full-time thing so they could like start their own business full-time instead of like uh, the person who has a job and is like doing this little thing on the side. For the productivity, I feel like everyone's problem with that is use, utilizing their time most effectively. I mean, even I have that problem. It's like no matter how productive you are, you are thirsty for ways to become more productive. And the more you like get into that mindset of being as productive as possible, the more you want to know about how much more productive you can be. It's a matter of how much do people like you and how much do they look up to you as a role model because a drone cannot produce or a robot cannot produce that same effect. Because a drone a cannot drone. produce or a robot cannot produce that same effect. Speaking about user problems uh, that your ser service has uh, solutions for, uh, do you have any success story that, that you can share with us? Well, one of my users didn't know how to grow her Twitter audience. Like She had a general idea of how to make it happen, but she was basically like, the numbers were flatlined. They would stay the same. So I gave her some advice on to how to grow that Twitter audience. And after she followed that advice, continued to read my content, she has now grown her audience significantly. I believe she's passed 10,000 followers at this point. But it was just a matter of me giving her the advice and her taking action. That's, that's wonderful. Okay, so we are almost out of time, Mark. Uh, my last question uh, will be um, where we can find you and if you can tell us a few words regarding your web page uh, structure, what system do you use? Is, is it WordPress, uh, Wix uh, or some, something else? Well, you can find me at markguberti.com, M-A-R-C, and then guberti, G-U-B-E-R-T-I.com. I use wordpress.org for my website, and basically, if you go there, I provide a lot of digital marketing productivity-related advice, and I also recently came out with my membership site, Total Social Media Domination, which basically the title says itself, how do you dominate all the social networks? So if you want that one, you can head over to markgiverdi.com backslash TSMD to learn more about my membership site. Okay, so you will not uh, tell us uh, about Price Guberti at the moment. We need to log in and see for ourselves, yes? Yes. Okay, great speaking. Great speaking. Speaking to you. Thank you for your for your time. I'm uh, more than aware how busy you are, and uh, nice nice talking to you. And we will definitely keep in touch and uh, uh, have another interview in near future. I look forward to it, Martin. Okay, okay, Mark. Have a have a nice rest of the day. You too. Thanks.
not interested this time.